You know, people have often asked me, when did you get this idea about powerful partnerships? And it's funny, I can tell you exactly when it was. Um, it was like a, a moment that something really hit me. I had been married maybe six or seven years, and my children were somewhere between three and five years of age. They were small. And they could talk, but they weren't that articulate at that point. And um, I just noticed there is something really strange going on here. My wife would ask me to do something, and my first response was, I don't want to. Whatever it was, it was, uh, it was just, even if I didn't say it, my, I was listening from, do I have to do this? And I imagine the same was true in reverse. And then I saw that when my children, all they have to do is intimate that they wanted something. Hint. And I would knock myself out to do it. I had all the energy in the world, and my first answer was, absolutely, yes, well, how can we make this happen? And some of the requests that my children would make were ridiculous, and I still wanted to do it. And the requests that my wife would make were reasonable, and I didn't want to do them at all. I would do them. She would convince me. She would tell me why I needed to, I should, and I probably would agree, and vice versa. But there was such a stark contrast about me wanting to please these children and not particularly wanting to please her. I would comply, but it wasn't out of the same place. And I thought, what is different about my relationship with my children? Yes, they're younger and they're more innocent, but what was the essence of that innocence? Part of what it was, was that they were expressing themselves openly and honestly, but they weren't using any force. I never felt manipulated by them. I never felt coerced. I never felt like I had to do what they wanted or else. I didn't feel any moralism coming from them. And consequently, I was so open to pleasing them. It made me so happy to make them happy. And I thought, you know, that is really something. Because I used to feel this way about Lauren. It used to make me really happy to make her happy. When we first were together, I would do anything for her. But why wouldn't I do it anymore? Why was it so hard? Why did I have to convince her? Why did she have to convince me? And why was that always part of our discussions about the rightness, the wrongness, the good, the bad, better, worse, should, shouldn't? It was all over our communication, and it was nowhere in my children's communication, at least when they were very young. And I thought, that's it. That's the distinction. These kids don't use any force on me. And consequently, I'm free to access the love I have for them. And it turns out, just out of the love I have, I want to please them. And so, of course, I do. I just want to make them happy. And I used to feel that way about Lauren, but it went away. And I realized, for whatever reason, at a certain point in a relationship, we stop trusting love. We don't trust that the person loves us enough to want to do what we want for no reason. So we sort of lose our confidence in love, and instead we use logic and force and guilt and coercion and pressure and moralism and good, bad, right, wrong, should, shouldn't, have to, need to, ought to, must. A little boat of no confidence in love. And I realized that is significant. That's where these relationships break down, right there. And it hasn't happened yet with my children. It did later. But in that precious age, I would knock myself out to make them happy because it just made me feel so good to make them happy. And so I thought, how could I get that back? And so I talked to Lauren about it. I said, this really bothers me that I don't have that with you anymore. And I did have it. How can we get that back? And I realized the first step is, let's get rid of the force. What would it be like if I didn't have to help you make the bed or you didn't have to, whatever. But I just wanted you to or you wanted me to and if I wanted to, I would and if I didn't want to, I wouldn't. Because that's how I feel about the kids. I don't, I don't do what I don't want to do, but mainly I want to do it. I want to do what they want. So we started doing that. It was a little strange at first. And we were both fearful. Like, if you didn't have to do what I wanted, you wouldn't do it. I have to convince you, or you just won't do it. But surprisingly, 
when we took the force out of our relationship and we worked really hard at this, an amazing thing happened. When you tell somebody, this is what I'd like and you don't have to do it, at first they're like, then why are you telling me? But when they get it, like, oh, I don't have to do it. Oh, well, maybe I'd like to. That's what happened. Laura would say, Jimmy, would you do this? And I would go, no. <laughs> Even if I didn't say it, my first thought was, no, I don't want to do that. And then she would say, well, you don't have to, but I would like you to, if you want to. I said, well, I'm not. And I thought, well, maybe I'll do it. If I don't have to do it, maybe I want to do it. And that's what started happening. That's what turned everything around. My desire to please her came back. Her desire to please me came back. There was no more pressure, no more force. And we started using love as the only legitimate motivator in our relationship. And it changed everything. It actually got us back in touch with how we used to feel when we were dating. And soon I realized this has tremendous applications in business. People in companies are doing what they should, what they have to, what they need to, what they must. But what if the people around you wanted to do what you wanted? just out of their relationship with you, just out of their love of you or their love of your vision or wanting you to be successful or wanting you to win, just out of the strength of their relationship, they wanted to please you. How different would business be? And I started introducing this concept to businesses. And again, it's, it's not a common way to relate, but it's what makes being at a job really enjoyable instead of just... I owe, I owe, it's off to work, I go. And so this distinction about power and force, these children were so powerful. The whole world was organized around making them happy. And it was mainly because they were not using any force. They were just telling the truth. So I show people how to get in touch with what their truth is, their particular truth, and how to express that in a way that doesn't have any force in it. It's just... What's going on for you? And watch what happens when you do that. Give people the opportunity to be in relationship with you and it's natural for them to want to please you. And that's the transformation I've been able to bring about in companies and in committed relationships. It's about creating powerful, not forceful, but powerful partnerships.